hello from slide nerd and hello from vips what's up folks in the last vid i showed you the life cycle of an activity in action we saw when this methods were called and what happened what was the order and everything so i used something called logcat in this vid i'm going to be building up basically on what i did in my last vid so first i'm going to tell you what a logcat is and how it works so logcat if you guys if if you guys saw this window and you saw a lot of messages over here for example it says on resume was called on pause was called and all the stuff like that right so just like your system dot 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 print ln in your normal java program you have your log cat in your android apps now you can use your system dot out dot print ln but it is recommended by android developers that you use log cat for debugging and for printing messages and seeing how your program works all right so remember the log cat is used for debugging purposes print different messages using the android.util.log class now this is the actual java class log which does the task of printing stuff so it has some methods for example this is the most commonly used method log.d string tag string message now you're wondering what this tag and what this message means message you can obviously make it out it is something like on create was called this is your message now this tag this is what is life cycle and as you can see it appears under this tag section right so that's what your syntax is when you say log.d something plus something it appears as tag as the tag over here and the text is over here in the text section right so now with that being said for example i have printed this out log.d life cycle on create was called and that is exactly what you see over here which is highlighted in the red box so let me go ahead now there are other methods log.i for information log.e for error log.w for warning log.v for verbose now we are wondering what is the difference between all this actually there's nothing much difference except the color now take a look e is in red color over here you can see the level when it says d that means log.d was called it says e is log.e log.v log.i and warning i have not shown over here but warning is yellow in color or probably light orange i don't know exactly what the color is but remember one thing again logging uses too much memory and cpu resources so make sure that when you make your app completely and you're actually putting it up in the market ensure that you re remove all the log statements or at least comment them out and again you can have your log messages from real, de real devices too now this is one of the benefits for using logging all right so now let me go ahead build with this so now let's build upon that activity life cycle which i showed you in the last video let me actually show you the diagram of how it looks you have seen this diagram way too many times guys trust me on this one you have seen this on developer.android.com as here there are so many places there's nothing new in which i'm going to show but it only it's only going to be a different and an innovative way of showing you things so here the user first launches the app on create on start on resume is called in quick succession right at this point your app starts running this is what the user is uh, the user is interacting with your app he's doing things he's having fun he's playing a game all these things come under this place where it says app is running and after that your dialog comes in between and your on pause is called because it's partially blocking your activities view right and then it goes back to on resume when you eliminate the dialog when you click okay on the dialog it goes back to on resume right and again if you start another activity then on pause and on stop both will be called you have seen all this in that live demo which i showed in the last vid and last but not the least when android doesn't have enough memory or when you manually call finish method inside your activity your on destroy is going to be called now there is one more thing if you uh, see over here if you go back to your app by saying uh, i mean by clicking the back button or something from another activity then it's going to call on restart and it's going to call on start and on resume right so now last but not the least there is one thing i have not shown you in the demo and it is this when you change the orientation of your activity like if you remember your android devices run in two modes when it's the portrait and the landscape mode if you switch from portrait to landscape or vice versa what happens is everything is destroyed all right it goes on pause on stop and it goes destroy and then it goes back to on create on start and on resume now i'll be demonstrating this in an upcoming bit when i also talk about two more methods on save instant state and on restore instant state so uh, for that time i'll save that for then so by now uh, you guys have a clear under understanding of how the activity life cycle works in the next bit i'm actually going to jump inside eclipse and make this program in front of your eyes and you're going to see it run all right so if you like what you saw please subscribe comment let me know your thoughts thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later have a nice day